Hello, welcome to another video. I'll be showing you how to download the James Webb Space Telescope raw data. There are two ways to do this. Uh, you can use a script and run it through the, uh, the command prompt. Um, this takes a lot of time and downloads all of the raw data. An example I'll give right here. It will download every single um, uh, every single stacked um, file, and in total, um, the files can get quite big. This is the smallest one, uh, 56 gigabytes of total data, um, and. So I don't suggest this way. There's another way. You can download it through the mast. The mast portal. You can search it up and open up. It's quite slow at the moment, the website, because a lot of people are trying to download the JWST data. Um, but uh, when you've loaded your first page, you're going to want to go to advanced search. And then the mission is called JWST, so to search it up. Then our the next we will go into the release date. And as the images were released on twenty two zero seven thirteen at three. AM. I'm going to search for 2 a.m. and then copy paste and then till 4 because they were published at 3 but like maybe the data was uh, uploaded a little sooner or a little later and then we can go into search it shows the filter and the target name which we're interested in uh, and here's the target name. So we're gonna copy the target name and see what is this target. Well, this is the Ring Nebula. Um, for now, I'm interested in the Southern Ring Nebula. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to quickly open up a tab and then start downloading a zip file. I'm going to do that for every single filter. So every time there's NGC 3132, I'm going to click download with the little floppy disk. It's going to take a while because it's quite a lot of data. With the download done, we're going to go into our downloads folder where they should have been saved. I'm going to tell it to unzip the files into our directory where we want it to be saved and I want them saved here so I'm going to copy and then paste click OK now it's going to unzip all of our files um, you're going to get a message uh, saying uh, if you want to replace it it doesn't matter because it's the same file um, with some with some uh, properties of the images but we're not going to be using it so just click no to everything with them unzipped in this folder we get two different folders. One has four of them, the 090 wavelength, the 356, 444 and 470. And the other one has 187 and 212. For now we want them all in the same folder, so I'm going to control X. And then paste. Now we have them all in the same folder. Then we can delete this one because this one's really important. We get the different, uh, we get six total uh, folders with the different images. And you've organized the files into a folder, we can create, go into serial and set a working directory. For me, it's going to be in temporary serial, JWST. Uh, there, there. Then create a new folder called process, create, process, create, open. Now we're going to want to convert the different files. 
For the ease of this video, I will just be using the 090, the 187 and the 212 as they are the biggest files uh, with the least amount of noise compared to these three. Got the biggest one, the 700, uh, 671 megabytes one. Same for this one. And also for the 212 nanometer. And then I like to call all them by the order I've loaded them up. So 090, 187 and 212. 090, 187, 212, click convert. After conversion, you're gonna want to register the images so they're aligned perfectly. And then you're gonna want to create an RGB composite. This is completely up to you and what you like, but as I've already processed this image, I know what I liked the first time so it's going to be for me 212 as a red channel green is going to be the 187 and blue is going to be my 090 click close after you've composited your image you can save it uh, i like to call it composite.tiff it's important that you save it as a tiff file instead of fits because fits can be read by photoshop uh, and click 16 bit click save uh, and I wish you good luck with processing uh, and